What's up everybody? Welcome to another Honest Review video. Today we are going to talk about a dash cam, a 4K dash cam from Bots Lab. A few months ago, I have bought a doorbell from Bots Lab and I'm still using it. As I'm super satisfied with the performance of the video doorbell of Bots Lab, I have bought another product from Bots Lab. Okay, if you have watched my other videos, uh, maybe in some of my videos, I have mentioned it clearly. My new girlfriend Rachel, she is a bit lousy and recently I have got a car for her. So, you know, the first thing I wanted to do is to get a very good 4K dash cam with ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance System for Rachel's car. If you care someone, you always want to get the best for him or her or for them, right? So yeah, after testing a lot of different dash cams, I have decided to go with this Botslab dash cam G980H. Well, as usual, we'll start from unboxing and then we will talk about all the features and the performance of this G980H from Botslab. But before that, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Okay, let's first check the features and specifications of this Botslab G90H 4K dash cam. It comes with two cameras, one for the front, another for the rear. The front one is a 4K one and the rear one is a 1080p one. It also comes with advanced driver assistance system. Definitely we are going to talk about this later in this video. It has a 170 degree wide viewing angle. It also supports UHD night vision. G90H supports GPS route recording. You know what, it also has this driver fatigue reminder, which is very helpful. Okay, uh, Rachel is a bit lousy. Anyway, I really like this because now I don't have to call and remind Rachel that be careful when you are driving. The Botslab G90H does the job for me. Botslab G90H supports 2.4G and 5G Wi-Fi. It has a 2.45 inch vibrant display panel. And more importantly, it has a durable capacitor. As sometimes the weather goes very hot here in our city, yeah, a durable capacitor is much more preferable because from my past user experience, in midsummer, some of the dash cams which comes with a battery pack, yeah, the batteries actually gets a bit of a change in its shape that's odd and dangerous. In terms of the sensor, Botslav have chosen the Sony IMX415 Starvis sensor, which is really a very good one and it can cover up to six lanes. Well, I have already mentioned that the front viewing angle is 170 degree and okay, the rear viewing angle is 140 degree. Okay, if you're subscribed to this channel, then you may already have noticed that I do a lot of reviews about dash cams. And yeah, I have also checked reviews of many other dash cams. And there is always one thing most of the people don't talk about, which is really very important. People talk about sensor size, this and that, and a few specifications that actually doesn't make any sense or doesn't matter in real life performance. What matters is to have a very good lens with a very big aperture. The Sony Starfish sensor that the Botslab engineers have used in this G90H 4K dash cam is tagged to a very good lens and the lens has an aperture of 1.5. That means the sensor can actually grab a lot more light. That means it can even grab more details even under low light. F1.5 is really one of the best among all the dash cams available on the market within this price segment. Moreover, most of the other brands, when they sell a pack of front and rear dash cams, they select different sensors for the front and the rear. The rear video doesn't matter or what? I don't understand this. Anyway, Botslab, they have used the same Sony Starvis sensor for the front and the rear. So it doesn't matter whether you are going to record at the front or at the rear, you are always going to get the best out of it. Before we talk about all the features, let's talk about the installation process. Is there anything to talk about? Cause it's really very easy. 
I'm not going to go through all the installation process, but let's quickly show you that it has only taken two minutes for me to install this Botslab G90H 4K dash cam. Well, Botslab G90H 4K dash cam is powered by a 1.5 tops AI NPU chip which is way better than its competitors. Not only that, it also has a few features which actually helps a lot. Like pedestrian collision warning, front vehicle movement warning, headway monitoring warning, and lane departure warning. Yeah, many other expensive cars comes with a lane departure warning, but most of the general cars doesn't come with these. So having a set of advanced driver assistance system is really a great thing. Botslab G90H 4K dashcam actually reduces the potential rear end collisions by a big margin because it warns the driver if the driver is driving a car too close to the front car above 19 miles per hour speed. So that's a great thing. Not only that, it can also detect pedestrians up to 33 feet away when the car speed is between 6 to 26 miles per hour. Moreover, I really like this lane drift or lane departure warning which actually helps to reduce side collision detected aggressive cornering driving behavior please drive safely botslab g90h 4k dash cam is a far better choice because it is much safer than many other it has a working temperature of minus 20 degree to 70 degrees and it supports 24 7 parking monitoring as it is powered by a supercapacitor, it can record videos even up to the moment of emergency power off. So all the footages and everything is safe inside this Botslab G90H dashcam. As it comes with a built-in GPS integrated with Google Maps, we can easily record our driving path for route tracking. It also supports automatic emergency video locking during incidents and seamless loop recording for continuous coverage. Yeah, it is powered with a G-sensor, so it can keep track of all different type of movement. Well, inside the menu or inside the settings, there are a lot of options. Let me show you some. Inside the settings, we can connect the dash cam to our phone. There is a record settings, parking monitoring settings, driving assistance settings, system settings, and yeah, finally, there is this option to check about the device. Inside recording or video settings, we can set video resolution, audio, sensitivity, built-in speed, and logo. There are two different resolutions, 3840 by 2160, which is 4K, or 1920 by 1080, which is Full HD+. We can either disable or choose between low, medium, and high sensitivity. For parking monitoring, we can also either enable or disable parking monitoring, and the options are the same, low, medium, and high levels of sensitivity. For parking time lapse, there are three choices, 24 hours, 16 hours, and 8 hours. We can also select parking monitoring auto shutdown, like parking for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and so on. In driving assistance, we have fatigue driving reminder. It reminds us to be careful when a driver is driving continuously for more than 2 hours. It also has this safe driving reminder. It detects dangerous driving behavior or pattern and reminds us to drive safely. I have already talked about ADAS, Assistive Driving Reminder, so I'm not gonna go through that again. In system settings, we can adjust voice, the display panel, language, and we can also check GPS information, like how many GPS have already got logged, and yeah, we can also format our memory card inside this menu tab. Okay, that's all. Actually, if I want to keep talking about this Botslab Dashcam G980H, there are a lot of things that I can talk about. I can keep going on and on and on. But I don't want to turn this video into a tutorial or I don't want to turn this video into something very boring. So, okay, that's why I have mentioned all the features that I like, that I care about, and all the points where Botslab Dashcam 980H performs better than its competitors. And considering the price, I think this is one of the best dashcams available on the market. I've left a link of this Botslab G90H dashcam in the description box below. 
go ahead check the product but before that one request if you have liked this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel support honest content